John Beatty on BBC Radio Scotland. Now, two young German tourists who arrived in Scotland for their first ever foreign holiday at the end of February have finally left after being stranded in rural Perthshire by a snowstorm for five weeks. After a whistle-stop tour of the Scottish islands, Oliver Suft and Julia Coomshire from Bavaria headed for the mainland and they were hoping to see the dramatic scenery featured in the Bond film Skyfall. But their trusty camper van got stuck in snow drifts near Ben Laws by Loch Tay. They were then forced to walk six miles to the nearest village where they stayed at a local B&B, helping out with odd jobs to pay for their extended stay. Well, earlier we spoke to Melanie O'Flynn, the owner of the Milton Yonan Cottage B&B in Bridge of Balgi. Basically, it was like um, a, a terrible snowstorm and people, people don't normally just appear at this time of year. We're used to having visitors because we're a and b but uh, these guys came in, uh, you know, all wrapped up with uh, kind of tra- trackers hats and, you know, wet clothes. And they just looked really quite scared. So how did they come to be there? I think they'd heard that Killin was a nice village and they'd been coming through Glen Lyon and their GPS basically sent them over the pass. Yeah, they walked, they walked six miles to get to you. They were stuck in the snow. They arrived. Then, sadly for you, they stayed too long. <laughs> It wasn't sadly for us. I mean, honestly, I've had the most amusing uh, five weeks possible. The real magic thing to actually share their their kind of com- coming to terms with our way of life. It was brilliant. Yeah, they are young. We're a bit naive. I think this is very much their first time leaving mum and dad. And, you know, they were behind the wheel of a, a camper van. They felt they could go anywhere, do anything. And, you know, they were off. They'd seen Skyfall. They had a kind of a mission. And they, they kind of laughingly said, we've been told by people maybe maybe March, early March was a bit early for Scotland, but we didn't care. You know, this is our, this is our big trip. Did they like our place? I think they loved it. Um, their passing gift was a bottle of malt for uh, various people who'd helped them. But, they, but sadly for you, weren't able to pay you for the accommodation. But So, so how much um, work were they actually able to do to help you out? Um, there was lots to do, and you know, when you've got children, I've got two children. Um, sometimes it's quite hard to do all the tasks in the weather, so it was an absolute joy to have someone feeding the chickens and, you know, taking water out to out to the pigs and sort of saying, "Can I give your dog a walk?" sort of thing. So they they did work, but they also just fitted into our lifestyle brilliantly. I've got a greenhouse full of uh, seeds now. You know, my gutters are clear. My greenhouse doesn't have any holes in it. All the things that you kind of go must do that got done. Isn't that a great story? They came to have a look at where Skyfall was uh, filmed, stranded, lost for five weeks in a <laughs> B&B. That was Mel Neil Flynn, the owner of a B&B in the Bridge of Balgi. It's uh, six minutes to one.